Alright, so I had originally made some big long tutorial on how to make a GIF and then realized that about 90% of it was fairly redundant and not really needed. So instead I decided to just make a, uh, a tutorial on how to make a transparent GIF and it kind of in essence shows you how to uh, make a, uh, an actual GIF to begin with. But um, Dick Justice was nice enough to, to let me uh, use his little happy dance uh, cycle that he has here. <laughs> she is so happy. Um, and when making a transparent GIF, it really is not much different than making a normal GIF other than making sure that there's a few settings you have set, uh, changed. For one, making sure you have some kind of a, uh, of a green screen background. You don't need to use green. In this case, it works out well because there is no green in the, uh, in the animation. But say you're using like Rainbow Dash, you have a rainbow, you might have a little bit more difficulty with it. Um, so this one works well for ha just having that flat green screen. Uh, there's a couple settings you have to make sure that you turn off, mainly because uh, a GIF doesn't allow the gradient edges, that smooth edge that flows into the background. It has to have that sharp edge that changes between the model and the background. Uh, a lot of the base settings you're going to have here, like motion blur, are going to prevent that. They're going to they're going to cause that blur, and that GIF's not going to look anywhere near right. Uh, so there's about four settings that you're going to want to make sure you have turned off. That's going to be your motion blur, your the subpixel jitter AA, uh, your camera's bloom. So if you if you look at your camera here, uh, the bloom scale setting should be set to zero, as well as the camera's aperture. You want to make sure that you keep on your depth of field because if that is turned off, your ambient occlusion, uh, which is going to smooth out some of those um, uh, those rough ed uh, those dots that's that shadowing uh, look, is not going to render correctly. Uh, to just kind of show you how or what effect uh, those have. If you keep your depth of field on, um, so you have your aperture turned up a little bit, you're going to notice and see you're going to have some of that bleeding green that going into the model here. Um, if you have your bloom still on, and I turn that way up, she's not normally that shiny. Uh, you're seeing that you're getting some of that green that's again getting into the model there. Um, that subpixel jitter, which took me a little while to figure out what that did. Uh, but that is what it gives a little bit of smooth edges uh, to make it so that the model with any background has a smooth instead of that sharp cut edge. Um, having that turned on will c again cause a little bit of bleeding. And then I really don't have to mention my motion blur is a bad idea. That's not going to turn out well at all. So if you have all of those turned off, you're going to get something that looks like this. Uh, you're going to get very sharp edges to the background. It doesn't look quite right here, but um, again, it's it's going to be animated. You're going to have to take make some sacrifices. Uh, so once you get um, the animation rendered uh, just the way you want it to with all those settings changed, um, you, uh, you, at least the method I use is bringing it into After Effects. You may not have After Effects, but this is just kind of the method I use. Um, so we want to import uh that file here so let's oh, i gotta go find it here let's see here uh well, where do i got it here oh not there uh yeah that'll work or not i am so lost <laughs> that'll work all right Let's open that up here. Do, 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 things Twilight Dance. That'll work. So if you open that up, it should automatically notice. If, if, if since you should have it exported as an image sequence, should have it uh, notice that you have a, a PNG sequence. So load that first image. Drag it down here, and there you got Twilight and her uh, her dancing. Um, to remove that green screen, you're gonna have to look for an effect called key light. So if you go over to the uh, the effects and presets here, search key light. You can find it here. Just drag that on your sequence here, and it'll pop up a little menu here. Uh, screen color is going to be what it is that you're making transparent. In this case, you're going to want to make it green. So you choose a little eyedropper here, and choose the green, and voila, background disappears. It's going to look black here, but uh, that it technically is no background right now. Um, the colors might be a little messed up here, so you want to make sure you grab the screen balance and put it all the way to 100. Uh, it might be hard for you to see there, but it's looking... The key light's looking for slight hints of green, and so it, it sees sometimes potential green in other colors. If you turn the screen mouse all the way up to 100, it's looking for basically just that one color green, nothing else. Um, 
So get that to max here. That's really all you have to do in After Effects. Now you just have to render it as an image sequence out of After Effects. To do that, we go to Composition and Make Movie. And then under uh, the Output module here, it says Lossless. If you select that, pop a little uh, screen for all your different formats. Right now it's showing it under AVI. That's just a video file. You don't want that. So you want to go down here to PNG Sequence. And I always make sure to put RGB plus Alpha. And that's all you need to do in that screen. And then other thing that's important is making sure that you choose a correct file so you're not spamming some random file with a bunch of pictures. So I'm going to go make a new file here, call it uh, Twidance uh, uh, 3, why not? Um, and so we'll save that, just keep that the same. And let's get that rendered. Do, do, do. There we go. All right, so now we have all of that available and it can be made just like any other GIF. So in Photoshop here, I'm gonna go to open and we're gonna go to, to, to do, where did it go? Twidance 3 and choose the first image. Photoshop, at least this version, you have to make sure you select the image sequence here. And uh, that was 30 frames per second. All right, now we got Twidance in here. Uh, this was saved, I think, with a 10 extra frames at the beginning and end, so if you can drag these little bars to better select what you need. There we go. So you can see that now we have that checkered background. So she is, uh, there is no background for this GIF right now. From here, and now that we have uh, the perfect cycle uh, selected here, we go to File, Save for Web Devices, Depending on the size of the file, it could take a little while for it to get a preview set up here. Um, and you'll now notice uh, you have your GIF here. Uh, one of the options to make sure under GIF is to make sure you have your uh, forever loop, otherwise it'll only do it once. If you want to take a preview here to see how it looks, uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, if you if you want to sh try to shrink it down a little bit, you can play with the image size on here. If you want to create a second GIF for like DeviantArt where the, for a preview image, uh, I usually just change like one width to 100, whatever the largest one is, change it to 100, and that should work fine uh, for uh, for any of the GIFs that you want to make. So uh, change this back, and now we'll render this. Uh, let's see. I'll put it on the desktop. I think I have a version on there already. Oh, there we go. So we're going to replace that. And so I kind of already set up a preview here to show the transparency working. So you can see uh, this is just with a yellow background. Uh, this is the GIF I just made. Uh, you can see that that is uh, perfectly clear. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, and so it's clean edges. If you if I ever want to change the color, say let's let's do blue. Um, so now you got blue background, and you can change it to, to whatever you want. It doesn't even it could be a picture, it could be a color. It, it's perfectly transparent now. Um, so that's basically it. How to make a make a transparent GIF? I'm sorry if I went a little fast and skipped some steps, but. Uh, um, that you can do it without uh, After Effects. You could just go into Photoshop, load it all up, and make like a billion layers and remove a green in each one, but that can take a very long time. And After Effects has that all built in where you can do it within just a couple minutes. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I really can't think of anything else with the, with the GIFs. <laughs> um, if you have any other questions, leave in the comments. Otherwise, uh, if you have any other ideas for any other tutorials, again, uh, let me know. Um, I have some ideas for some, but I hate to spam them. So, uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.